Okay, so now in this video, we will test out all of our missions and see if they completes or not. But before playing the game, if we click on this police station right here inside the police station, we have this mission 2. So right here on this mission to make sure that the sphere collider is set to is triggered. Okay. And once you do that, then open up the pickup uh, item script right here. We forgot to set this to true because if mission 1 and 2 is passed, then we will pass the mission 3. Okay. But we forgot to change this from false to true. So make sure that you set it to true. And on the boss script, let me check it out. Okay. True to true. And then we will do the last mission, okay? And the mission two and the mission one is already being added, as you can see. So now we are good to go, and let's test out our missions. So now, if we focus upon the player, let's go ahead and play the game. Let me put this to the maximize, and right here, as you can see, it shows the first mission, which is locate your house and save game. So if we go ahead and locate our house and now let's save the game if we walk in there as you can see our money increases it is now $650 and now it shows mid frank in police station. So let me just pause this video right here and let me approach the police station. So now I am inside the police station now if we walk in there our mission 2 will also be completed and our money will be increased so let's walk in there. Now, as you can see, it shows find weapon at home. If we check it out, as you can see, it shows mid Franklin in the police station. We open the police station doors. So that's why it shows this one. Now, as you can see, the next mission, which is active, as you can see, it is find weapon at home. So let's go ahead and find the weapons at home. So let me approach the home and then I will show it to you. And guys, before passing this third mission, let me show you. If we click on this mission right here, as you can see, mission 1 and 2 is completed. And now if we go ahead and find the weapons at home. Okay, right here we have this weapon. We can pick whatever weapon we want. For example, the handgun. So let's pick it up. And as you can see, mission 3 is being completed. And now we have a total number of dollars in 1980. It seems like a date. Okay, a year. But okay. We have completed our third mission. Now we have this handgun. Okay. And as you can see, mission three is being completed. Now let me just maximize this. And as you know that our third mission is to find Gonzalez and kill him. So let me approach the mansion of the Gonzalez and let me kill him in order to complete this mission. Okay. Which is find Gonzalez and take revenge. So as you can see, we are at the mansion of the Gonzalez. We have the handgun. So let's take out the handgun and let's go ahead and kill the Gonzalez guards. As you can see, there are the guards. Let's kill them one by one. So this is the first one. Okay, this is now the second one. Let's kill him as well. Whoops, we are reloading. Let me kill him now. The third guy is being killed. Now, as you can see, this guard is right here. Let's kill him as well. Okay, he's, he's dead now. Now let's go ahead and quickly kill Gonzalez. If we get up there, okay. And as you can see, Gonzalez is sleeping right there. So now if we kill him, okay, as you can see now, the Gonzalez dies. Okay, there he is now. After four seconds, his body will disappear. Okay, but if we close this, whoop, we close the game. But you noticed right here that I think our mission four didn't pass. Okay, so for now, if we click on this missions, let me pass all of these three missions and let's go ahead and complete our fourth one. So now if we kill Gonzalez, let's shoot him. And as you can see, mission 4 is being increased. I mean it is being completed and as you can see we have now a lot of money as you can see right there. Okay. 